So just a bit of a heads up, there's a bit of a rant coming. Um, I really hope you actually watch it and understand what I'm talking about. But anyway, if you don't want to do that, you can skip ahead to the actual change log. As well as that, if you're wondering how I create these doodles, then check out Doodly. You can check that out in the link in the description below. It's a really awesome piece of software that I've just came across recently. It's really cheap as well compared to all the other software that's similar to this. It's really well priced, so check it out in the link in the description below. So before we get started on the change log for the latest ATV experience build, I just want to discuss something with you. Yes, you at home, okay? So the ATV experience is a fantastic development. I've supported them for quite a number of months now. And the one thing that really grinds me is that you guys who use it, maybe download it, you never give any positive feedback for it. There's thousands and thousands of downloads, and I bet there's so many TV boxes out there that have this firmware on it, and you guys are probably happy, but you never say anything about it. You never say, look, this is fantastic, keep the good work, guys. There is a handful of you that do say that, but there's not enough, I don't think. I suppose that what really, really annoys me is that some of you, I'm not saying it's you at home watching this video, have the audacity to actually complain about it and even to the point where you some of you have actually been quite threatening to some of these people that are putting all this work and effort into this development and that's quite disgusting it really is um i'm quite disgusted by that unfortunately that's the internet you have to have a thick skin when it comes to this sort of thing whether you're providing this or doing videos or whatever like me i do videos and i get some pretty horrific comments all the time but that's just the nature of it but for, for these people who are making your tv box better and they're not charging you anything for it and you guys say that um i think it's quite amazing <laughs> But you can actually do that. But anyway, that's just the internet, isn't it? And that's just the way things are, unfortunately. But if you at home enjoy the ATV experience, or you enjoy Laka, if you enjoy Scott Alec, if you enjoy Cora Alec, if you enjoy one of the other developments, go and try and provide support, whether that's just saying, wow, this is great and I love what you're doing, or even putting your hand into your pocket and giving them a couple of quid, a couple of dollars, a couple of euros, wherever you are in the world, do it, okay? The ATV experience at the moment is trying to push forward and they're trying to grow and they're trying to, trying to develop and trying to provide firmware for as many TV boxes as, as they can. Unfortunately, that ain't free. The firmware's free, but doing that side of things isn't free. They would like to get hold of a lot of different pieces of hardware. And ultimately, it's down to you guys at home to help provide that. So if you can donate, donate something, then go and do it. There's no reason why you can't do it, especially if you're enjoying the firmware. If you're not enjoying the firmware and you don't want to use it, that's fine. You can just scroll past and ignore it. And if you get something out of this firmware, put your hands in your pockets, go and donate something, because ultimately that couple of quid or whatever it is, whatever you can afford, even if it's just 50p, or 50 cent or whatever wherever you are in the world it's a small amount of money if everyone done that the atv experience could take their firmware to the next level and ultimately it's you at home that benefits from that really there's so much work and effort that goes into these types of pieces of firmware you wouldn't even believe now the problem is with these tv boxes is they are cheap and as well as that over the years, everything really has been free. I mean, when I first started messing around with these TV boxes, we had Kodi. And we still got Kodi, obviously, but we had the, obviously, Kodi add-ons and they're still around. But ultimately, what I'm trying to get at is those add-ons were free as well. And I think it's just this, this mentality that everything surrounds these TV boxes should be free. And I just seem to think that everyone has this kind of mentality that they demand everything to be free. And although this firmware is, it's totally and utterly free, the work that goes into it isn't always free. It isn't always that, isn't always the case. It really isn't. There's many, many, many hours of hard work on into this. And ultimately, everyone here 
whether it's me um, doing these videos, providing these um, broken down tutorials for you, or it's those people that have um, put all this work and effort into producing amazing firmware or whatever it is, it ultimately it's a, there's a price to that. There really is. There, there has to be a price to that. And ultimately what I'm trying to say is here, if there's something that you enjoy and something that you've got loads of um, joy out of or it's improved something in whatever way, whether you've used CoraLec or LibreLec or one of Kazak's developments for this for this thing, go and find a way of um, giving back to the community. Not Maybe it doesn't have to be directly, maybe go onto the CoraLec forum, say thanks, thanks guys, you've done a fantastic job here. Keep it the good work. I just don't see enough of that. I really don't. All I see is complaints and problems and stuff like that. And it's and it's so disheartening. It really is. It's so disheartening for me because I'm the guy who goes out there and finds these developments and I I provide these developers, I like to think anyway, a platform for them to, to, to show the world their work. And... Uh, it's so disheartening because I know what goes into this. We developed Got a Lek and that took two years to bring that to where it is now. Unfortunately, we gave up because no one, no one supported it. Everyone downloaded it, but they never said, great job, guys. We want to support it in any way we can. It doesn't have to be monetary. It doesn't have to be. It just, it's just saying we're there. We like it. Keep going with it. It doesn't have to be that. So... Yeah, that, that kind of came to an end, which was such a shame, because two years of hard work and effort went into that. And some of you probably me at home probably don't think about stuff like that. You probably don't realise what goes into this sort of thing. And to develop a piece of um, firmware or whatever it is from scratch is incredibly hard. It is incredibly hard. And I know how much work goes into this ATV experience and Coralec or whatever we're talking about. So I'd done a video just a couple of days ago on how to install Coralec and um, sorry, ATV experience and it's had many, many thousands of views. And ultimately what comes out of that is many, many thousands of downloads. So really I do expect that some of you will go onto the ATV experience website or the forum, say great job, really good work really like this that the other it's made by a box so much better or you say here is a couple of pound keep up the good work because ultimately the people that benefit from this for benefit from stuff like this is going to be you and yes you've only spent 20 30 dollars on a tv box so what's a couple of dollars what's that going to do what's the, what difference is that going to make to you well it's going to be probably huge because it's going to make your tv box even better and it's going to turn that 30 bucks TV box into something that's worth a hell of a lot more. Ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, it's just going to make things a hell of a lot better. It's going to save you going out in a couple of months' time to go out and buy another one because that firmware is so damn good. So, yeah, support what you like. Support these people because if you don't, then ultimately what is going to happen is they're just going to give up. There's going to be no incentive for them to do it and get out of bed in the morning and go and do it sort of sense you see what i'm getting at oh, i really hope you do because it's the community that ultimately is going to help it push it forward and without the community it's just a hobby and we don't want a hobby to turn into something in it to to grow and then just collapsing on itself because that's a, that's a sad day when that happens and i've seen it happen time and time and time again with people developing these sort of things making things better and the community loves it but they don't tell them about it and they just, you know, think it's another, it's another uh, one of those things and they can just move on. It's such a shame when it happens. Anyway, let's move on now. Let's show you the change log for the ATV experience. Okay, so the ATV experience change log is version V2H and this is available for S905X, S905W and S912 devices. So it is based on Tanix firmware. In my experience, Tanix firmware is really quite good. It's a lot better than others. That's probably why they've chosen that. We've got optimized codec, codec sorry, and system files. Removed the Amlogic codec, and now it's strictly media codec only. Now we've removed more settings, so I guess that's to do with uh, making more, you know, Android TV like. Uh, we've got add init.dscripts for powerful performance. The you know. 
we've removed them, added them, and so on, and build up prop tweaks as well. So all those sort of things are, you know, are kind of essential and really good to see actually a independent developers actually doing that because these those sort of um, tweaks and performance updates um, really do make a difference when it comes to firmware, especially Android firmware. DNS tweaks, we've got file links added, and um, that's for you guys who donate, like I said before. Uh, we have disabled IPv6, I'm not entirely sure why that is, but it seemingly it causes internet drops. Uh, we've added OTA updates and system updates, so I'm curious, will this come through the um, from the previous build? I'm not entirely sure about that, because I've not actually got around to try this myself, and we'll forward to that actually. Uh, they've added TWRP recovery. Uh, you can't get any better than TWRP, so that's great to see. They've added game t gamepad support. I'm pretty damn sure that there was already gamepad support there anyway, but obviously they've added more. Uh, fixed permissions, not entirely sure what that means. Uh, fixed Bluetooth um, on some devices. They can't test that. They don't have the hardware. Guys, again, a bit like what I was saying before, the more hardware they've got, the better it is overall. Uh, root on by default they've already had that i think um so no it was it was it wasn't rooted i believe um i so the lift it on you can turn it off if you don't want that um modded setup um we'll have option to skip once you pick language not sure what that means i'll have to have a look when i actually try it uh, we've got default remote is tannic so if you want to change it you're going to have to follow our actually remote configuration tutorial i'll leave that link in the description if you want to I know a lot of you guys have been saying that um, your remote hasn't worked. You just need to change the remote.config. So if you're watching this and you've never tried this before, don't try this just yet. You need to go and grab your remote.config file um, just to be absolutely certain it's going to work on this firmware. And I have done videos on this in the past. I shall have a look and see if I can link it in the description below. Uh, updated apps, uh, exclusive ATV experience theming. Uh, I wonder if they've changed that. Not entirely sure. And again... Um, enjoy the build guys it is fantastic ATV experience is probably the only firmware I've seen for a long time to keep up with system updates and Android is not easy to develop for especially when we're talking about these Amwatic TV boxes it's not an easy job so yeah so I really hope you enjoyed this video give you a bit of insight into what goes on in behind the scenes and you know encourage you to to support it support it keep it going forward because that's what we want to see that's what we want to see we ultimately want to see a perfect piece of firmware for these amortic devices because they are not perfect by any means this is why the atv experience exists thanks again for watching guys we shall see you very soon